Good evening, everyone. Let's revise the cover coverage we have done until now. Why do we, the first question, first topic we covered? Why do we need DynamoDB? Then we also cover what is DynamoDB and what are the basic features available with DynamoDB. Then we try to understand the basic practices and costing models. Today we'll try to cover some of the standard common system design interview problems to verify the must to know the fundamental understanding about the DynamoDB. All right, so today's agenda is to cover the Q&A session for the initial warm-up session for the system design interview, which was the focused on core component. How does DynamoDB achieve scalability? So this is a very good question, right? So, and my answer here is DynamoDB achieves scalability by automatically distributed data and traffic for a table over multiple partition. It uses a partition key value to determine which partition will store an item. As the amount of data or the level of request traffic increases, DynamoDB can add more partition to accommodate the growth and this scaling is handled automatically by AWS without any downtime. Let me repeat again. So auto scaling is provided by AWS. You don't have to do much things over here. What you have to do, you have to understand the when which configuration you need to share. If you want auto scaling, you have to configure it rightly. That's it. Once you've done it, then everything would be managed at the back end by AWS itself. So that's why it is a very convenient way to handle the scalability in DynamoDB. I hope I'm clear by Thank you for explaining in very simple terms. Let me come again on this problem in a later discussion. For now, can you explain the consistency models supported by DynamoDB? Okay, so DynamoDB supports two consistency models. Eventual consistency reads, which is the default one, and a strongly consistent reads. Eventual consistency read can maximize your read throughput, but might not reflect the latest write operations. A strongly, a strongly consistent reads return the most recent data, but might result in higher latency and might not be available if there is a network delay or any outage break, breaking in network. So it is purely based on cap theorem, right? If there is a network partition, then you cannot able to make the strong consistency in that case, right? So both uh, model, like eventual consistent or strongly consistent, which one you will prefer, it depends on your problem statement, your problem context. And as an architect, it is your decision to select one over the others, or maybe the composite one. I mean, bring both in some scenarios. So it is totally depend on your decision. I hope you are clear with my answer. If you have any question, let me know. Thank you for your wonderful explanation. Can you please explain me about data distribution and partitions? All right, this is also a very good question. Let me answer this question with, uh, with some good analogy. DynamoDB uses the partition key value as input to an internal hash function to determine the partition where the item will be stored. Each partition can store up to 10 GB of data and handle a certain amount of read and write throughput. When partition reach their capacity or throughput limits, DynamoDB will split the partition or add more partition to scale accordingly. I hope it is clear, right? So how the partition will be done and then how your, I mean, your insertion will, will, I mean, map to the partition number. And then also if there is too much throughput for one partition, how they are scaling, like how they are dividing, either they are dividing the partition or they are adding additional partition at, to make sure that uh, your system is scalable enough to accommodate your requirement. Okay. Thank you for your explanation. Describe the replication mechanism that ensures fault tolerance in DynamoDB. Okay, welcome back. So this is the question which you asked me, like how DynamoDB is I mean, maintaining fault tolerance. So if I have to answer in a simple way, I would say that DynamoDB maintains fault tolerance by automatically replicating data synchronously across multiple available zones within an AWS region. This replication ensures that even if an entire data center goes down, the data remains available and durable. Okay. So this is the way DynamoDB providing uh, fault tolerance and resiliency in their service. So I hope this is making sense to you. If not, if you have any further question on it, let me know. Thank you. Thank you for completing this video. And I hope that you definitely have learned something which will help you in your system design interview. 
Hope to see you in next video with new concept and skills needed for the system design interview. By then, keep learning, keep improving, and keep sharing your knowledge.